And just now I did mention that, uh, uh, like you inform them before you make the offering uh, to monks. Uh. Usually they make offerings to monks. Uh. Yeah, and then you transfer the merit to them. Uh. But one thing just now you mentioned about, you said hungry ghost. I did not say hungry ghost, you know, I just said ghost. Uh. Uh, because nowadays, you know, people tend to talk about hungry ghosts. Uh. Uh, actually, it's not mentioned in the, not mentioned in the suttas. There are many things nowadays, uh, which are taught, uh, from later books, you know. And uh, I was also given the impression last time, uh, that ghosts suffer a lot. So I used to think, uh, like most people, that ghosts, uh, are even worse than animals. But actually, in the Buddha's teachings, the Buddha said, uh, that, uh, animals are worse, uh, off, uh, than ghosts, you know. In the Majima Nikaya, there's one sutta where the Buddha said, the Buddha talked about six planes of rebirth, you know, six realms of rebirth. But later books talk about, uh, sorry, the Buddha talked about five realms of rebirth. But later books talk about six, uh, because they added the Asura. Uh, the Asuras are not considered one plane of rebirth. Uh, asuras are a type of Devas. Uh. So in the Majima Nikaya, the Buddha said there are five realms of rebirth, the heavenly realm, the human plane, the ghost, then animal, then hell beings. Now the Buddha gave a com uh, similes uh, to make us understand uh, the relative uh, uh, difference uh, between these five types of uh, realms. The Buddha said, suppose there is a person uh, who is very hungry, very tired, very thirsty, uh, is looking for a place, for a shelter, la, looking for comfort. La. So he's walking along the road, then suddenly he stumbles into a hole, you know, there's a, a big hole. La. He falls into it, and inside that hole la, is full of uh, this uh, burning um, this burning charcoal, you know. And uh, he falls into it, and he's being burned by these uh, uh, flaming charcoals. La. And he, can, he cannot get out because it's higher, this... This pit na, is higher than him. Na. He cannot get out, so he's being burned there all the time. Uh, that is a simile eh, for us to understand the hells. Na. When a person goes into hells, eh, he suffers eh, like this person having fallen into that uh, pit. Na. Now, the simile for the animal realm eh, the Buddha gave eh, is like a being, eh, same like the first person, hungry, thirsty, tired. Eh. And then eh, he walk, he's walking along and he falls into another pit, na, uh, uh, another pit, and this pit na, is full of excrement, na, full of shit. Na. So he's suffering inside there na, uh, because of all this shit, and he cannot come out. And that is a simile for the animal realm. Na. If we look at the animals, na, we find, na, if we observe, na, actually uh, some of them na, suffer a lot. Na. For example, some people, when the dogs are old, they don't want to look after the dog, they just throw it out. And the dog uh, suffers terribly, you know, because he goes here, goes there, is bit bitten by other dogs. And I've seen sometimes uh, these dogs get bitten, and then the flies go and lay the eggs on it, uh, and then it turns into maggots, and then the maggots are biting their flesh, and they're howling in pain, you know. And then they die, because the, the, the hole gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and uh, more and more the flies go and lay the eggs. That's a very pitiful way to die. So, uh, if you are a good Buddhist, uh, don't uh, take good care of your dogs, uh, because dogs, uh, they depend a lot on uh, the owner, you know. So, uh, that is the animal realm. Uh. Then the ghost realm, uh, the Buddha gave an example of a person hungry, thirsty, and tired, uh, and looking for a shade, uh, looking for shelter. Then he comes across a tree, you know. This tree, uh, he, and then he goes and rests under the tree, uh, hoping to find some shade uh, from the sun. But this tree is, uh, the, the, the amount of leaves on the tree uh, is, is, is not so much. Uh, it's a, it doesn't have very many leaves. Uh, so he doesn't get very much shade uh, hide, uh, hiding under the tree. Uh. That's a simile for the ghost realm. Then the simile for the human realm uh, is like a person, same like this, uh, hungry, thirsty, and tired. Uh. He comes, goes under a tree, uh, which is full of leaves. Uh. So he's very happy. 
this is very nice shade uh, under the tree uh, and he's taking a rest under the tree and uh, the tree shields him from the sun. Uh, that is how uh, life is to us. Uh. Now the simile for the heavenly realm uh, is like a person, same, hungry, thirsty and tired. He comes and then he encounters Kidor, he goes inside, he finds a very comfortable Danlok pillow or something and uh, maybe aircon and all that. And then he goes and sleep in that in that bed, lah. And he doesn't want to get out from that bed because he's having such a nice, uh, comfortable uh, place to rest. Huh? So there's a simile for the heavenly realm. Huh? So from here, huh, you find the ghost realm huh, is not very much different from the human realm. You know, slightly different. Uh, not so bad, lah. Like some people make out. Huh? Sometimes you look at some of these books, and huh, the way they describe these ghosts, huh, terrible. Huh? 